I gotta say, that was some of the crankiest dancing I've ever seen. <laughs> Everything's man. This day started. We're just we we we're, we're here. It's Tuesday. It's on the right night. Yep, it's not we, Wednesday or Thursday we, or like we, the middle of the day on a Sunday. We 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 might have a show. We we you know like like we're we're start we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there this week. <laughs> no matter come how along many, for the ride with us. No matter how many times it's gonna take us to get there. Yeah, how many uh, how many times did you hit record before we actually did this correctly? Four? Just just go straight there. That's yep. fine. Whatever. <laughs> It was three. <laughs> oh, my bad. Sorry. Over exaggeration much. Uh uh as the fans know, we've we've the we fired the producers and a la Twitter, there's nobody left to run the show. So we're oh, struggling no. in keeping <laughs> keeping the lights on here. Uh I, I had to I had to weave it in because do you see sorry, I know this is not on topic at all, but did you see the thread where he like publicly berated an employee that they didn't know they fired and the heck had a disability and then like the basically guy who won like a national award from iceland or something yeah they like bought it. his company that was like a design company and then like literally didn't know if he was employed or not and they just did <laughs> and then they had it out on twitter <laughs> so what you're saying is there's somebody who is d- having a worse day and is dumber than us yes so <laughs> that, that is that a that fact going. got that going uh so uh we're we're one week out uh from the playoffs uh which is now mostly set mostly set um pretty minimal drama with my team uh totally imploding over the last <laughs> two weeks or so uh we we did discuss before and if if we just wanted this to be your lamentation week we we agreed no, that that was not the plan No I feel like I lamented way too much already no one <laughs> wants to hear me whine about people getting hurt or things like that again so I'm just going to not do that you know what we're also not going to do looking at this? We're just not going to talk about this because no. n- nothing's changed. Like, this is the same it's been. Yeah. This- I, if you have, we could just run a clip show if we <laughs> wanted, and it would probably still be relevant uh, of it just being like, well, everyone's 500. I wonder who's going to make a leap and stand out. Oh, wait, nobody did. <laughs> the clip show is a great idea for some future pod. We might yes. have to do a clip show. A best but, of. Yeah. Uh yeah, this is very uninteresting at this point. Um, maybe we'll come up with something better next week, but uh, we had a whole plan here. Uh, just so you know, out there for the fans, we had a whole plan, and then we we ran through and we decided no, this is dumb. Where we the numbers didn't work, and it <laughs> was just sad to talk about. So we decided to not talk about that. We're shutting it down. We're yep. shutting it down, and we're gonna talk real basketball because that's interesting. Hot take day. Cyrus hot take. Hot dude. takes. All right, I'm going to cue you up first because I know this one's going to piss you off. Yes, And uh, it, like, pissed me off when I heard it. So was, do you ever watch NBA Today? It's like an ESPN show. No. I know you don't because you don't watch actual basketball games. Correct. Uh, but they asked the question of if the Lakers played the Nuggets in the first round, who would win? Every single person said the Lakers. Who are these people first? Like, who are the people? All the blowhards. Rich, I think it was like Richard Jefferson and like Perk and a bunch of other guys <clears throat> and you know, the various people. But like, and then uh, the and then apparently Zach Lowe, who's like an ESPN reporter, uh, who who's my favorite podcaster, uh, got really angry about it later. <laughs> like, like because <laughs> everybody said the thing. Lakers, or like because uh, because everybody cause he, said the Lakers. Yeah, because he okay. thought that was dumb because. That's dumb. Foist. <laughs> what? Foist. I don't uh, know what you're doing here. <laughs> I was sorry. I was referencing a movie that's in my head. That's funny. It doesn't matter. It's bad reference. First, they're all wrong, obviously. Second, what? I don't. I. LeBron is the goat. I believe that. It's LeBron. Not that one. No, no, no. I'm. I'm. I. I say that to tee up the second point of. I, for whatever reason, not for every reason, I mean, it's kind of aware, but like the um, the gravitational pull of him is so strong in the pundit class of NBA commentators that like, it's like, it's like, uh, it's, it's just crazy that the credit he gets for existing, which I mean, he wins a lot of games by himself with ragtag group of friends that he has, but the Blakers are so bad. 
Like, like they might not even make the playoffs <laughs> at all. <laughs> and Denver is the like by far the best team in the West. Like not, by not, a long not margin. If, not if healthy Phoenix comes knocking, but yes. Fine, yes. Like fully healthy Phoenix, which is it may not happen. Uh I still think they actually match up well against Phoenix. And but okay. Whatever Phoenix and whatever a health a a, a a sprightly Kings team or you know a sprightly Memphis Kings. a Memphis team that actually is not full of angry people who like draw their weapons at people, um, that's just like I don't I don't think any like who who actually has like a real matchup, um, positive against the Nuggets at all right now any anybody in the league. Like who actually matches up in a favorable way with the Nuggets right now? I think there's two teams. I mean, outside of Phoenix, which just is like and Golden State, which have championship pedigree and like overwhelming talent. Uh, I wouldn't want to see healthy Clippers if I were Denver, and I would not want to see Dallas if I were Denver. See, I I would I would think like Dallas, like they they you know they nobody can guard both our guards so like that's the same as everybody else but yeah. nobody can guard like dallas everybody that they throw at Jokic will just like he's gonna get 40 20 10 every night <laughs> like yeah the only reason i say dallas is because uh i feel like luca is like maybe the one guy who can outplay Jokic in a playoff series or just, one by, of sheer just by sheer insane craziness that's and like fair. you know Kyrie is noted anti-Semite Kyrie is sorry. I have to introduce him like that every time. <laughs> Understood. Uh, no, no explanation and, necessary. You know, is, is probably, you know, probably outplays Murray at that point. So you have a draw on the number one player an advantage on the number two player. And then it's just obviously the rest where Denver has a big advantage. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I think it's like, I don't think similarly, like I, I don't know what team matches up against that Dallas backcourt at all. Like really like, mm-hmm. so like everybody's sort of at the same level of losing 60 points a night to those two, but then you just don't let anybody else ever touch the ball and they can only score so much. Right. <laughs> I think, I don't know. They could easily get a hundred between them. Like that's, uh, that's probably true. Um. Anyway, uh, the Lakers are bad and that is a dumb, 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 dumb take. I thought that you'd like that ridiculous Makes tape. no sense and is so wrong. Now, here's another fun take. Um, I'm going to top half. Of the, let's say the top half of the standings are um, Denver in some ways, like Denver one, two, three is like Memphis and Sacramento in some order. And then four is Phoenix. So you like the death bracket of Phoenix and Denver on one side, and then you have flawed Memphis and then everyone doubting Sacramento because they haven't been there before. If you're Golden State and you end up at like six or seven, do you then become the favorite, most likely team to end up in the Western Conference Finals? Why do you, why are, like you said that they have like, they're bad. Like they're not a good team. They're still the Warriors though. But like, are they? I mean, again, like so what are the they... whole reason that they're bad is because for some unspeakable reason, they literally can't win a road game. There's the three whole... games over five hundred. Like, right? It's just because they literally can't win a road game. Like they are, they they're like five. They have five road wins or something like, or seven road wins on the season or some crazy number like that. Well, that's a problem if they're if like if they're sub if they're in the lower half of the bracket, then they don't have home court advantage. So they're right. not going to get out of the first round. You have to assume that that's partially an interest thing, right? Like they're just not. They just don't have the motivation at that point. They played so many. I, games I think they're games. a flawed team that's like old and broken, and like that's what happens to old flawed teams is like they don't travel well. Maybe that I mean they still crush everyone at home, and basically, like statistically, the main difference is they just don't make their threes. Yeah, I mean, well, like that's, but I mean that they they're gonna live and die by that. So like, I think that's it'd be an interesting thing if it's if if there's a semi correlation with like back to backs as well as away games, 
Um, like, where is it just a fatigue slash randomness and the randomness, like, to your point, like, there's just that little edge of loss to play in the road. And so it sort of equates to not hitting threes. Um, Could be interesting. I They don't match up well against any of those teams, though, really. Like, you're just relying on the belief, which is not History. unfair, that, like, Curry just goes supernova because he cares again. Um. But yeah, there's nobody. I mean, like, you're still relying on the backup, the second best player being some version of Clay on a good night, Pool on a good night, or whatever. You know, like it. I, I just don't think they have the the, the fire. Selling on Golden State, huh? I haven't. I mean, they don't have a like. The, I haven't been high on them all season. Like, it, it's all predicated on can Curry just like take control of a game and get fifty again. Which, which I don't you think he can. can. If he had, I mean, like, when's the last? I, I don't watch basketball, so like, what? <laughs> well, he just came back from injury. Yeah, so if he, like, if he's healthy and they can like sneak by, maybe. Um, I don't know, but like, not like they're not like they match up against the Nuggets. Well, he had forty tonight against OKC on fourteen of twenty three. Yeah, OKC. I mean, they're trying to make the playoffs. I think. I don't know. Okay, here's the next one. <laughs> yeah, they have, Do we they, think they have, is trying to make the playoffs or not? They have three less wins than the Warriors. This <laughs> is Banana Town. <laughs> it was just bizarre ape shit season. I love how I love how from the Warriors down, like the wins go up. Like the win, like there's no there's no like actual order. It's just games played basically it's like yeah 34 it's like 33 same. 34 everyone is one like is like three games over 500 basically yeah <laughs> like so sounds like our league actually does uh the lakers are in the play-in i'm surprised new orleans is dro- uh, i'm kind of surprised new orleans dropped but like no zion obviously is bad and the team they is- are they look horrible what like- happened there Zion being gone has really hurt them. Ingram has not been consistently healthy either. I don't know. That team needs a new training staff. Like, I feel like in the last three years or so, they basically haven't played a single game with a full lineup. I think it was like, there was an, I think Zion and Ingram together have basically played the same amount as like the Harden Kyrie Durant trio. Like they basically played like 15 total games over what? How many years? Three years? When right. did the Davis trade happen? 2020? Something like that. Yeah. Or 19? 19, right? Yeah. So, like, that's insane because that's not, like, that's just pure injury badness over so many years. Um, So that's happened. CJ has regressed. He is, he's playing through injury. He's not sitting out, though. So, he Joe, he'd be a Joe guy. He's got this big-ass splint on his hand right now because his right thumb is is like sprained oh so they're just all broke they're just broke yeah yeah That's so they're just, they're just physically busted and valentunas has regressed uh like he's not looking super good and isn't like larry nance jr finishes the games for them most of the time uh yeah, that's a bad sign point. so they they got they got some need they need a center i think probably coming up uh or to somehow figure out how to rehabilitate Valanciunas. So along these lines, we're staying with the West. Yeah. The, the play in right now is Minnesota Clippers, Utah and Lakers. And Portland tied no. and Pelicans tied. Well, so in the standings, I guess, based on tiebreakers, uh, yeah. the Lakers are shown as the last play in team. So ah. just let's just take that for a moment. So Minnesota, LA, LA, Utah. Today, who makes it out of that play in? Today? Yeah. Right now. Who you bet? I would on? probably take the two LA teams. I think that's unfortunately it's probably true. No, actually, no, I, I think I'd take the Lakers, but not the Clippers, because Westbrook is just <laughs> why did they do that? Like <laughs> Go, I mean, I go on. I, I'm not a Clippers fan by any imag- uh, ounce of imagination, but I do like Kawhi, and he was on, he was on my team this year. And when he played, he was phenomenal. Uh, but like, why? Just why? <laughs> Give me like, I, like 
I don't we should know. get Chase. We should get Chase on here and see if he can come up with some defense of of the move. I like when they actually signed him. I think I went like full Frank Grimes, <laughs> and I think I'm still doing it. Every time I think about it, I'm like, wow. <laughs> I just can't, I can't understand it at all. Like, why was that needed? What was the thing that they were missing that, like, that he fixed? Like, I don't know what they were missing because they've never played any games together. And I think they didn't know that either. But, like, they got Bones Highland. Like, just let him go out there and be, like, younger, ballsier Reggie Jackson. And, like, I don't know. Why? Just, ah. <laughs> People can't help themselves. Like, why can't anyone help themselves with him? Like, you talk about the deference to LeBron. Like, the deference to Westbrook at this point, who is a wildly negative player, you know? Like, why does anyone think he's good anymore? Uh, Sunday, they lost. No, they won. They beat Memphis Sunday. He played 34 minutes. (laughs) With... He went nine, six, and five. Um, as a as a as a prior Westbrook supporter, as Joe will never let me forget <laughs> <laughs> forever, uh, I still believe he had good seasons and had insane. Of course, he had good seasons. Yes, it was like a wrecking ball of doom for a while. Yes, but like and, he's and pe- not that person. Correct, and people can change, and I I agree in the sense that I it's it's mind boggling like. There's no film that you can watch on him at this point in the past year, two years, maybe even three, where you're like, yeah, that's what we need on the team. That's a winning player right there. (laughs) Well, did you see the clips of like when they played the Warriors where Draymond was guarding him and he was literally standing under the basket? And he just sat there dribbling the ball at the three-point line. Like he didn't know what to do. He steps in and dunk on his ass. Like, come on. That that was the worst part about that. They not like, just he, just the blatant disrespect, which yeah, is hilarious. Mind games, and it which worked. Is, which is hilarious. But then the reaction from the player not being, oh, let me just do that. Let me just drive. Let me just take event. Let me just shoot. You know, fine if I if you're gonna give me this every time, I'm gonna still make 35% wide open looks. But to then just dribble aimlessly for like three or four seconds and then just pass it to like a perimeter player I'm like curious if like other teams are going to do this to them in the post every That's time the season like it gives no way he can play like 35 minutes in a playoff game there's no way no uh, yeah i i just do not that one just confounds me to no end and like that was a good they have a good team when healthy Though they're just like, I don't know. They, they don't are care. missing they are missing fire. And if maybe that's what they thought they were getting out of him, maybe that is what that's the case. Like they just they don't but like fire doesn't just come from like a fake tough guy who does this every time he makes a basket. Like fire comes from like actual leadership and like people who care, you know? Like I don't know. Yeah, it, he really it's... needed Mike Conley. That Everybody needed Mike Conley. It's really funny. Like, there's so many teams that were like, if you like Memphis could have really used Mike Conley, like an adult who can tell Dylan Brooks to calm the fuck down, who can tell Ja to maybe stop bringing guns to nightclubs. Who, nah. Like, <laughs> everyone's dumb. Why is everyone so dumb? It's so dumb. <laughs> it's almost like all these people are children. Yeah. They're it's fun to remember crazy. that all these people are basically children. But, like, I don't blame them, the <laughs> players themselves. It's the support systems that they don't yeah. have. Like, Ja is 23 years old. Like, he Thank is you. a child. Like, and he now has unimaginable wealth and superstardom. And that team has no one that is like, hey, man, like, this is how you have to live. Like, this is where your old man Vince Carter's came in handy like who's like an old man and good superstar that they needed to have that they should have like i feel like there's mellow floating around they should have picked up that's not who you want in your (laughs) like you need 
Like, who's like the sage old guy who can give good advice to him? There aren't many right now, though. Like, yeah, it's a weird dearth of old guy superstars. Like, uh, I mean, like on on the Clippers, you got guys like Batum, right? You got um. Let's let's go find some like the just the super duper star, like who's really on the decline, who's still like just hanging around, getting his bench minutes, like it's a hanging starter, like because he has seen everything that Ja is now seeing and he needs someone like that like random role player who's been in the league for 15 years but like no one would ever recognize in public is not really much help to him yeah i don't think those guys exist anymore. i think the, like the last three years that cleaned out that crop of people like properly yeah. i think we're we'll get another batch of them yeah. in a couple years like yeah I, I'm, I'm like just trying to even think of like to your point of like the aging superstar Maybe John Wall. Yeah, but is that what you want to do in there? I mean, you don't really want to be playing, but he's gone through like a crazy journey over the last few years. Like as you as a human being. Like he's not a net positive basketball player, but like they need that he needs an adult. He needs like a on because he needs an on court dad. Like and you know, his like that that's what he needs, and that's what that team needs because like Dylan Brooks is already over the Rashid threshold now, so he's gonna get suspended every time he does anything. Like uh, the Rashid. Triple J is just like I have to cover up for all of you both on defense and in your craziness. Steven Adams hasn't played in a million years. Like that team needs like old humans who understand like humanity. Even the <laughs> coach is really young. Like mm-hmm. their coach hasn't really been around the league much either, so he's not a great help in that regard maybe they need like kevin love they need kevin love yeah kevin love is the guy right now that is yep. the guy yep sage old man yeah he yep that was it he, they should have bought got him on the buyout uh it's an interesting thought of like there's there's a part of this where it's like is it appropriate or smart to allow like to just give like this truckload of money to people at this age. Like, not that I don't think like anybody doesn't have the agency to do this, but like, man, it sure is maybe not a bad idea to just like put this money in a trust. <laughs> like, yeah. For all, for all professional or sports athletes. Or at least athletes. like a percentage. Yeah. Like, like so much. But, yeah. So you much all of a sudden. can't tell these guys what to do with their money, but like, you would, to have more of a structure would be good. Like, it's just a, I don't know. It can't be easy to like go from relative nobodiness to like famous as can be, and like everybody wants a piece. Yeah. Well, and then like exactly like the, there's there's a you know once in a while you catch those there's those stories about like you know the the league whether it's like NBA or NFL they put out that story of like we're teaching rookies how to be financially independent and stable. Right. And then like, there's like eight people in a room and they're like got pencils and paper. And, and it's like, you know, that like, you know, the, the nerds are going to the, <laughs> go to those classes and paying attention. Right. Like the people that maybe like, aren't the, aren't going to get the max yeah. contracts. Right. They, no, they your, know that your second round pick from like St. Bonaventure <laughs> is going to that class. Yes. But yes. like, you know, <laughs> Giant going to that class because he's about to get two hundred million dollars. Like, <laughs> right. you know, like, yeah, that's, that's, that's I don't know. He he definitely, and that's like a team. I I, I think a lot of people are hating on them. I kind of like them. I like the like. There's angry. the line. Yeah, they're they've definitely gone too far. Like they they've they've gone into like a weird zone. But I kind of like this '90s like we're going to make you feel us and you're not going to have fun when you play us and we're going to beat you up. And like basketball is not always like a non-contact sport. Like I like their style. They've just gone. They, I think they might just have like one too many crazy guys. Yeah. Like everybody loves the bad boy, the bad boy roster, but the, but you walk to fine edge. Right. And like, you, yeah, you can't, you can't go pointing lasers at people after right. game. like that's, that's, Can't go too, f- that's too 90s. Like <laughs> that's that's too biggie and Tupac for for my tastes. Exactly. Like no meta world piece. Uh and uh what was the Pacers guy that started it? The big fight. Meta world piece. Yes. No, no. no. That was the I, Pacers guy. 
Who? Oh, Steven Jackson, Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine. Jermaine didn't start shit. He he got <laughs> run. A dude ran out of the court and he killed him. That's what <laughs> Jermaine did. Ah, uh, the good old days. Uh. Uh, all right, so that's the West. <laughs> yeah, do you have any other West takes? Like, what do you um, think? About, what do you think? Um, how badly do you want to see Phoenix Dallas because of how much Booker and Luca seem to really hate each other in real life? Don't care at all. Oh, I love it. I think it's great. I d- I didn't know that they hate each other. Yeah, because um, they're yeah they got into it like at the end of the game the other night and like talk to a whole bunch of shit afterwards about each other in the press conferences and like I would actually say that's that would be my least exciting series cuz I both already don't like didn't like watching Dallas cuz they're kind of awful to watch yeah. and I don't want to watch them with Kyrie cuz I hate Kyrie and I already didn't like Phoenix cuz they weren't the best to watch either and like I haven't watched they they might be interesting with Durant but like I don't know. I have no interest yeah. in that. Series. I really, I'm not a Durant. I'm not a Durant fan. I don't like him, but uh, it would be really funny to watch him eliminate Kyrie. <laughs> oh God. The, <laughs> the drama, the drama is high. I'll give you that. Like for, yeah. for, for storylines du jour, like <laughs> so many different ones to go with. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot going on there. Uh, I'll give you that. So, all right. So I feel like we hit almost every team there. Okay. Kings, East. your favorite team. Kings. Kings. How many rounds do they win? I tell you, I'm pro King, and I think the King's a glass cannon, right? They're the they're they can be any team any night. You can, that is indisputable. That team has so much firepower that, like, if they just play, if they can get a good defensive night randomly, or randomly the other team shoots badly, they can win every game because they can just outscore every single team in the league handily. Regardless of defense, like they just seem to not. So like that's dangerous, and they're gonna be motivated as hell. Nobody wants to play that team, right? Like like they might not make it multiple series because they probably don't have like the people who know how to do that. They're gonna get tired out, whatever. Like offense always struggles. Yada yada yada. Defense wins championships. Blah blah blah. Yeah, but like Yoga nobody wants to play that team, is, especially can't block a shot to save his life. Yeah, especially in the first second round, nobody wants to see that team. So like if they I think don't... everybody wants to see that team. Really? Yeah. Just like take take a cut or like cuz it's easy. Cuz they're not everyone's counted them out already. Like cuz they're Sacramento oh. everybody knows who they are. Oh, like um, like like bear trap style. Everybody you know what has... I want? I want Sabonis Jokic for 7 games. I want to see those two yes. beat the fuck out of each other for an extended period of time. I want that. I want that to be the conference final. So because... I want them I don't think they'll get. I I would like to see them drop down to four or something so they can be the second round series. To me, I, that's definitely the most interesting series. Like all the other ones is like because like who knows what Memphis is going to be like at that point, and all those other teams are like failed or or quasi broken. TBD on Suns. Everybody else is like Ugh. so. Like I would love a full throttle, uh, Kings Nuggets series to like do the West and then get crushed by one of Milwaukee or Boston. Yeah. Good segue. East. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mo- most interesting th- teams. <laughs> yeah. It was well, Boston's three down three in a row though. So maybe, maybe they're uh human. They just, I don't, they always get these weird slumps every year. They, they got some injuries slumps. right now. Do they? Okay. Uh, Time Lord definitely is hurt. He's yeah, been in and out cool. a lot. And then uh, White's been playing a lot. I think I think they've had a couple injuries for sure. Um, I don't think Smart's playing a lot, so that that's part of it. My main question: who who makes say, who makes the play in in the East? I mean, it looks like it's fairly. I mean, unless your Bulls make a jump, like it's... they're all trying though. That's the thing. Like like because like. The the Wizards have two on them in the last column. So, like, that's... I mean, obviously, that's, you know, it's hard to make up games when you're an under 500 team. And the But the Bulls have played, like, they're seven under, and the Wizards are three under. So I think it's probably going to stay... I mean, maybe your Bulls will make a jump. It's hard to know. We need to talk about them. You let, like... 
this whole we had this whole argument today about uh the Bulls and their stats. <laughs> they are a broken, they are a deeply broken team. They prove like they lost to the Pacers on Sunday. On sheer fact that they don't shoot threes and mildly didn't play defense, but like I don't know about mildly. Well, I mean, they were allowed to get 60% shooting. So, like, not like Indiana played defense either, but they still lost because they just don't, they're not a modern NBA team. And, like, they're just something fundamentally broken. I don't know if it's coaching at this point. Like, sure seems like coaching because, like, Coaching doesn't help. They have talent. Do something different, and they haven't done anything different all all season long. And there's always this Josh in, in like the news about like, oh, we don't care. We don't have the heart. We got to play harder. Patrick Beverly, rah, play harder. Everybody doesn't need grit. I mean, they have lots of guys who play hard. I exactly that's so. Rosen always plays hard. Like th- there's there has been very little coach talk this season. Uh, which I'm surprised about. I think everyone just the Lonzo thing looms so large. Fine, fine and fair, but like they still got Zach Levine and Demar Derozan, and like Fuchs isn't an all-world player, but yeah, he's damn good. Team. Exactly. Like how many teams have three All Stars? Like very and a, few, and a reasonably passable next four guys. Like. And a bench that was like, I mean, they had like Dragic and Drummond and like, like they're not, again, they're not starters, but like that was, they had a reasonable second unit that they were putting out there every night that was like real NBA basketball players Mm -hmm. and they just weren't doing anything. And so like at some point you got to, they, they didn't figure out how to use that roster without Lonzo and like, that's a problem, right? Like that's a coach. Nobody to pass the ball around. Like they that that roster was like really well built for Lonzo. Like, but then they like surrounded goal... him with finishers everywhere, and most of those guys couldn't shoot, except for Levine and him. Like he was the other big time three point shooter. Like, go get some. Maybe I'm ignorant to this, but like, can't you teach somebody to do that through the season? <laughs> like, no. like that seems like you a scheme. Teach court vision. You either have that shit or you don't. Like, and Lonzo probably has, he's like top three court vision in the league. Probably. Uh, I, I am, I am not going to say like you could replace Lonzo. Not going to say that, but like they need like 50% Lonzo to be like a top six team. Probably. No, no. I think you're overestimating them here. I think they needed all Lonzo to be the seventh or eighth best team in the East. Oh, okay. So you, you, you are way farther down on them in general as a concept. Like if the, the, the way I, I mean, like here is my, my basketball philosophy is I measure, you take your, your starters, right. And this is really stupid and simple, but like in which games do they ever have the best player on the floor? Yeah, never. Well, no, I mean, some like, Against the scrubs. <laughs> right. So, like, let me, like, run, let's run through the East here. Like, Boston, no. No. Bucks, top, top three, no. no. Cleveland, like, Cleveland. Billy, no. Cleveland. You think, you think so? You think Mi- they have someone better than Mitchell? Oh, I forgot about Mitchell. No. Well, I mean, I, I would say, like, DeRozan on a good night is probably They're probably to in a similar tier. Yeah. Um, I would say New York. I would say like, no. All right, no, fine. Randall and Brunson are both better than anyone they have this year. Okay. Uh, definitely not Miami, Brooklyn. I don't know with their current roster. That's like yes, wacky. they definitely have a better player than well Bridges. I mean Bridges yeah, Bridge is forty yes. on people. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, all and- the Blazers fans on the internet are all like. Oh yeah, we can trade like Simons and one protected pick for Bridges, and it's like, oh yeah, good luck with that. That that's gonna happen. Uh, Miami definitely not. Atlanta like is totally dependent on how Atlanta plays that night. Which <laughs> but, trade pro- are you getting? But probably no. Uh, Toronto no. Probably again, depending on which Siakam you get. Washington yeah. Beal, I would say that's like a draw. 
but I, now Beal's been pretty way, bad this season. But now you're all the way down to your other play-in teams. Yeah. No, so the I, point fair. that I'm making is it's not about style or defense. They just do not have, like, especially without Lonzo, who made, who elevated every single player, they do not have a leading guy. Levine yeah. is not that guy. Like he, he definitely, he regressed. And then but he never was like, he was never the best player on a good, on a great team. Don't disagree. I, I think him regressing a bit, but also I think like just without, to your point, without Lonzo, like him and DeRozan occupy the same functional space. Like it's the right. classic, like two people doing the same thing problem. Levine could be out there scoring 30 a night, probably if he was by himself, like with a not DeRozan there. Yeah. Um, but it's all and, empty. Yeah. And so it's, it's, yeah. So there's a better question then, because they clearly are garbage. We've decided this. So they're, if they don't make the play in, <laughs> what do they do? Like, like, I mean, I if don't they even... don't make the play in and their pick conveys to Orlando this year. You tear is all it, the shit down. Is it protected? Top four. <laughs> if they get Wemby, do they just still tear it down? Because like you can't keep half that they team. If definitely you get... tear it down if you get Wemby. Yeah. Like, and because you can do it real quick in that scenario. Well, you basically you keep, will keep Levine, Levine and you trade yeah. everyone else. Yeah, yeah Levine and Wemby, Dosumo, and, and wait for Lonzo, and wait for Lonzo. If, if Lonzo, Lonzo is still a like, you trade DeRozan and Vooch Crabney for whatever you can get. Well, Devooch is a free agent, isn't he? Yeah, but nobody has money, so you sign and trade him. Ah, uh, you know, Memphis. <laughs> we just said they need to send. Uh, would be great on Memphis. Yeah. Uh, and they'd probably get him for not one of their top three best players. That'd be funny if if the Bulls get a lottery pick. I hope they they pack it in. Are the are the Pacers trying? They're not sitting anybody. Yeah, Callie and Turner are playing every game. All right, so now for good teams, is is there any hope for anybody that's not Boston or Milwaukee? I think there's hope for Philly. I mean, Embiid, like going back to that same logic, Embiid can be the best player on the floor in any game against anyone. Yes, if and that's cares. always like that's always like thing one that I always look at is like who is the best player on the floor, and then outside of that, uh, I, I well that's what's interesting. I don't know, like man, T- Tatum, Tatum is really good. T- I don't know if anybody's Tatum. I mean, Tatum had a rough finals. Like he was so, tired, but they played yeah, like tired. every minute of every game and they, in and, like you know, seven game they, series. All these, all these East series are going to be dog fights. Like. You know, those top three teams are really good. Philly is probably going to melt down, honestly. Like, as much as I say they could, because they have the top-end talent to compete, they'll probably melt down. And then Harden will go to Houston, and then Embiid will ask out, and then Portland will trade for him, and everything will be great. Uh- <laughs> ooh, ooh, wait, let's let's hold there. So, I like, on the Embiid thing. Like, yes. I struggle with Embiid, as you know. And it's almost, like, perfect that he's in Philly, because I feel like he... He like embodies the Philly fan slash. Oh yeah, he's spirit. the walking middle finger. <laughs> so like, I truly can't even like fathom him on a, like a, another team that's not that and tries. And so like, do you think he could win a title? Like, or is he a soft whiner? And like, what no. I what team should he be on? to immediately win a title? What team could he go to, to immediately win a title? Because he's the piece that like makes them so much better. What team could he go to that would make them an immediate piece? Um, I mean, if Durant hadn't happened, I would have said Phoenix for Aiton and bridges and change. Um, I mean, if he could ever get to Dallas somehow, Oh God. (laughs) Him, him plus uh plus Luca, the whiniest, most free throwiest team of all time. They'd that would be, They'd the, be level unwatchability. the level of unwatchability. The level of unwatchability of those games would would reach like unknown proportions. <laughs> yeah. Uh let's I mean, you know, him and Dame on a pick and roll would be completely unstoppable. I would let's love just... him on the Blazers. I'd watch those games. 
Me too. I would also watch those games. Because Dame uh, would whip him into shape. Like that is talking about like the the parents on the team. He's teams. in shape though. Like this like his reputation, I feel like, is a little bit unfair right now. Like he plays fucking hard and like does whatever is needed to be done at this point in his career. Like he is, he is full bore trying to win. You know, he's unfortunately, I feel like he's stuck on a weird team at this point with a coach who's weird, who alienated like the other franchise savior and potentially previously, um, who seems to maybe have alienated Harden at this point, since there's all this smoke about going back to Houston because he just wants to do whatever he wants. Don't really believe that at all. Uh, but I, <laughs> I, I mean, like, that doesn't make any, I mean, I guess if he just wants to be, I guess he could just go be the captain of like a 40 win team for the rest of his career and score points and go to strip clubs, I guess. If that's what he wants, like, that's fine. Um, you know, people can make their own choices. I, I I definitely am rooting for Embiid. Like I really like him as a player. Um, I I it saddens me that Harden's like free throw baiting has kind of infected him as well. Um, but I think they could give Boston and Milwaukee a run, but probably not. Those two teams are so deep. Cleveland is interesting too. I mean, their defense is just so good. Like. The same way, you know, you you could say the Kings at, on any night could go completely supernova and just beat someone. On any night, the Cavs could just lock you in, to put you in the, in the cell and throw away the key and, like, hold you to 90. And, you know, win an old-school 99-90 game with all those big mobile dudes that they have. Uh, I do think, I think that's true. And I think, similarly, like, I don't think anybody wants to play Cleveland. Because they also, I think, match up pretty well against everybody. Like, Well, I mean, those two bigs, like, I mean, Mobley, you could put him on Tatum. You can try that. Because I think they definitely match up pretty well against Milwaukee. Because they're maybe one of the few teams that actually could control Giannis a little bit. Um, because they have enough enough length and guys to do that. Uh, they could throw a lot of different things at him. All right, so who's your finals right now on the table? Bucks Nuggets. Bucks Nuggets. I mean, I I have money on Denver this year, so I'm a bit biased. But uh, if I didn't, if I believed in Phoenix's ability to stay healthy, that's who I'd say. But I don't. I still don't trust. I don't trust. I don't think they can stay healthy for four or three consecutive playoff series against good teams. The West right. though, is like not as good as it usually is. So maybe they don't have to like, maybe they just have to be healthy against like Denver. I, I don't trust those teams that don't have like a deep rotation. Like they don't have like, I don't know. They have like a arguable seven guide rotation. And like, I get to like top five. You matters, go about but... eight deep in the playoffs anyway, but yeah, but they're like like a fragile team. They are. <laughs> like you know, like that's the problem. <laughs> they're a Durant hamstring or a or a Chris Paul ankle away from which which are like historically yes. like better than so the coin thing, flip the thing odds. The thing different is they could probably survive the loss of one of them and be fine. Like Booker, Aiton, Durant is still better than anything anyone else has. And you know, I don't think they could survive the loss of Durant. Obviously. I mean, they they couldn't, they wouldn't win a title for sure. No, 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 because now you've subtracted. Like, if you lose Durant, you you you're basically the same team you were, but you've subtracted all your good wing defenders. Yeah, you're then you're like, yeah, Chris Paul, eight eight and Paul Booker, Craig Okogi is not. Yeah. it's not it's not a winning starting no, five. Bridges, there's a big drop off there for <laughs> Cam Johnson and Bridges. So yeah, yeah. they need. If if Durant, I I guess like I think they could lose one of Paul or Booker for some time, but I don't think they could lose Durant. I don't think they could lose Aiden either. No, they. I mean, like what, La, like Landale, Landale or Biombo is there? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't like these guys can't miss any minutes. Yeah, not even a game. Like True. they're all gonna have to play 40 minutes a game in a real series. Okay. You so can't. Th- so Denver's Bucks. Then. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I think Boston if they're healthy is like Tate 
those games, Tatum goes supernova. I don't know that he's a better player right now in the league. Um, like he's so good. Uh, and I haven't watched Milwaukee play when they beg back healthy. Um, but they don't seem as dominant as they have we in years past. Um, maybe there's just better league, but Boston just seems like the best definitely team better right conference now. than it yeah. used to be. Boston definitely seems the best team. Uh, and Nuggets like they'll the only reason I think they lose is if they they lose like they they themselves beat themselves like they stop trying or somebody gets you know Jokic gets hurt or something like that. But nobody's nobody matches up against that team wholly, especially when they're all healthy and like Murray's been playing really good. They're there. So Bucks Celtics then or sorry, uh Denver. Nugs Nugs Celts. Nugs Celts. Nugs Celts. Everything about those that sounds gross. <laughs> and Dark Horse, Dark Horse Kings Cleveland. I'd love a Kings Cleveland final. Oh my took... god, the league would hate that so much. <laughs> it would that be would so be amazing. Fantastic. Number one offense was like like whatever number top defense. Top like defenses. classic. Yep. Classic. Love it. That's what we that's what we should all aspire and root for. Like a hundred percent. Sabonis and Jared Allen. Yes, exactly. Perfect. I think that's that's a fine place to end. Deer and Fox and Mitchell. That'd be fun. Yeah. What's what is there not to like in this series? You got you got you got you got young, you got old, yep, you, got, you got you got low beams. market teams, you yep. got beams. You can light the beam. You got the return of Cleveland, who's like a good sports city all of a sudden across all leagues regularly, like except for football, but yes. They were. They had the one time what, three years ago. I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, well, so this was fun not talking about the league because why would we do that? Um, maybe next week we'll try again. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. No. Well, it should be an exciting first round. Like, there's a lot of parity and anybody could come out of any matchup, I think. Yeah. You're playing for buy, right? There's no buys. Well, there's no buys this time. Oh, okay. Eight, eight, well, eight stack. It's an eight okay. box. All right. Well, full, full oct- bracket. Octo box. Octo box. Full bracket. Uh, I'm playing for second. The second, third. Doesn't really playing. make a difference. Just whoop, which is what round you could beat by Joe. Yeah. <laughs> womp womp. All right. All we're right. Gonna, we're well, gonna cut it there. We gotta cut it there. Note. We came all the way back around to the sadness. <laughs> full circle. Uh, until next week, where we have yes. to start. <laughs>